Hello and welcome to ANSYS Tutor. In this tutorial demonstration, we would see how could you apply the periodic boundary condition in a fluid flow and heat transfer problem. To show this, we have taken a case. This is a case of a staggered heat exchanger. There are two symmetric halves of hot cylinders at a temperature of 343 Kelvin. Water is used as a coolant to cool these hot cylinders. Water is flowing at a mass flow rate of 0 0.05 kg per second and it is at a temperature of 298 Kelvin. So let's know what would you learn from this tutorial. At first we would see how to create a 2D symmetric geometry model for a staggered heat exchanger. We would see how to match the geometry for a periodic flow problem in the solver setup. We would observe how to create the periodic boundary and implementation of symmetric boundary condition. We would calculate the Reynolds number for the given flow conditions in the results. We would see how to extract the contours from the CFD post processing results. We would first start with creating the model in ANSYS Design Modeler. Click on the geometry. You can see properties table in the right side of the window. Go to the advanced geometry option and select analysis type as 2D. Right click on the geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Go to units menu and change it to millimeter. Select the XY plane to draw the sketch. Go to sketching toolbox and select rectangle. Select the origin point as the first point of the rectangle. The dimensions of the rectangle. Go to the details view table and enter the dimensions of the rectangle. Draw two circles on this sketch. Enter the dimensions of this circle and distance from the reference axis. Go to modify toolbox and select trim tool. Trim out the unnecessary lines from the sketch. To convert the sketch to 2D surface, go to concept menu and select surfaces from sketches. Select sketch click on apply and then click on generate geometry is complete save the workbench and proceed for meshing right click on the mesh go to the details of the mesh table select the adaptive sizing and turn it on Enter the resolution as 7. The 
go to quality and change the smoothing to high right click on mesh and select sizing and select a selection tool hold the control key and select all four edges then click on apply enter the element size insert another edge sizing select first and second vertical edges enter the number of divisions make a note to put always these two edges as the same number of mesh as it is the periodic walls so both the boundaries should have the same number of mesh cells because they will share the common data during the simulation change the behavior to hard so that the meshing would be forced to keep it as such amount of divisions as a more priority basis insert method keep all the mesh cells as triangles now insert the inflation and select the geometry select the two edges of the cylinder as the boundary select the inflation option as total thickness enter the number of layers as 5 growth rate as 1.1 maximum thickness 0.06 mm right click on mesh and select generate mesh the mesh should be generated now provide names tag for the various boundaries Check all the name selections are given in the proper manner or not. Right click on the mesh and select update. It would update the linked cells with the fluent solver. Close the meshing workbench. Open the solver setup. Select the double precision model. click on start now we would start creating the setup of the periodic boundary condition first note down the boundary ids of the periodic left and periodic right now go to the console space and write down mesh 
slash modify hyphen jones slash make periodic and then press enter it would ask for the first periodic boundary and put the boundary IDs of the periodic left which is 5 in my setup it might vary in different cases so always note down the periodic boundary ID press enter it would ask for the next adjacent shadow boundary and put the shadow boundary ID press enter as there is no rotation in this case so it is no press enter then create periodic zone S now a message would appear below saying created periodic zones now in the boundary condition we can see the shadow periodic wall which is periodic right is not there in the boundary condition list which means the periodic boundary has been assigned successfully now go to the models and turn on the energy model Turn on the laminar viscous flow model. Open the materials menu and select fluent database. Select water liquid. Click on copy, then click on change or create. Now go to cell zone conditions. Change the surface body material from air to water. Go to boundary condition, click on periodic conditions and enter the mass flow rate value and temperature through the periodic boundary. Assign wall temperature to the top and bottom cylinder walls. Now go to solution methods, select the green gas node based gradient, go to monitors and select residuals, decrease the energy residuals to 10 to the power minus 16, change all the other residuals to 10 to the power minus 6. It would be give better accurate result. Now go to the solution initialization and do the hybrid initialization. After initialization got completed, click on patching and select temperature as the variable. Enter the value as 298 Kelvin. Select the surface boundary as the zone to patch the temperature. Now go to run calculation page 
enter the number of iterations as 1000 and click on calculate. Calculation is complete. Go to the results, open the reports drop down, select surface integral. Select the field variable as velocity and velocity magnitude. Select the interior surface body, click on compute. It would show the maximum velocity in between the cylinders. Note down this value. Using this velocity value, we would calculate the Reynolds number. The density and viscosity of water is obtained from the default fluid material properties table. The cylinder diameter is 10 mm in our given geometry. So using this data, we obtain the Reynolds number as 118. We can vary the inflow velocity to observe the changes in the Reynolds number. Now close the fluent server setup window and open the CFD post processing workbench. Insert a new contour, select the variables as velocity as we are going to extract a velocity contour image. Increase the number of contour lines for a better image resolution. Select the location as symmetry 2 or symmetry 1. It is the total surface body. Click on apply. Click on default legend view. Change the color scale legend view from scientific to a fixed decimal place format. Click on camera icon to save this image in your system. Change the default image format setting for a better image output. Click on save. Similarly, we would get the temperature contour. Only change the variables to temperature and click on apply. Save the temperature contour image. With this, let's conclude this demonstration. Hope you would like this tutorial. Please comment for any query or suggestions. Thank you. Keep learning and keep exploring.